Today's video is about an awesome video editing program called DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve has also a free version that you can use. If you've used it for a bit and you're looking for tips and tricks to make your editing life a lot easier, especially if you're a beginner, keep watching. This video is a collaboration with Camille, who's my professional video editor. And because there are many options and features in DaVinci Resolve, it's easy to miss the important ones. So let's start with tip number one. Make your playback smoother. You've probably come across this. You want to review your footage, but the playback isn't smooth. In most cases, it happens when you have these large 4K or sometimes even the 1080p files and your computer is too slow to play it smoothly. Whatever the reason, it's annoying, especially if you're working on a big project. Now, the feature that you're going to need here is called Optimize Media. It will compress your file to the DaVinci Resolve codec and it will make your playback on the timeline much smoother. Here's how to do it. Put the clip you want to use on the timeline by dragging and dropping it right here. Next, select that clip and then right mouse click and select Generate Optimized Media. It will generate a lower quality media of that footage. Depending on your computer hardware, it may take a while though, but you will hopefully get your playback work smoother when it's done. If it's not smooth enough, here's what you can do. Click on the gear icon right here. Under Master Settings, scroll down to get to the Optimized Media Resolution. By clicking on this drop-down, you get to choose the Optimized Media Quality. So depending on your computer, you can go with 1 16th, 1 8th, and so on. I'm going to go with Choose Automatically. Once the Optimized Media is created, you can toggle it off and on by going to Playback and selecting Use Optimized Media if available. This will help you get your work done a lot faster. But what if you want to change your playback quality for the whole project instead of a single footage? That's where the proxy mode comes in. To turn on proxy mode, go back to playback and proxy mode. Here you can select between half resolution and quarter resolution. Watch what's going to happen with the image when I choose quarter resolution. It's going to lower the resolution of all the clips on the timeline so that you can play it smoothly without any problems. To turn it off, go back to the playback here, proxy mode, and select off. Tip number two, synchronize your media. If you're recording your video with multiple cameras or recording audio and video from different devices, you're going to need to synchronize them on the timeline. Now, this can be a pain to do manually, but with DaVinci Resolve, it's simple and easy. You can synchronize your footage automatically with just two mouse clicks. Here I have three clips recorded at the same time with different devices. Here's the headshot, second angle B-roll, and my screen recording. I want to synchronize them. So you can do this manually by finding the same audio peaks. So for example, you can clap before and sync based on that. But a much easier way is to select everything, right mouse click, select auto align clips, and choose based on waveform. This will analyze the content and automatically synchronize the selected footage based on the waveform. When it's done, you can delete the rest of the audio tracks that you don't need. To delete, hold Alt, click on the track you want to delete, and press backspace. Number three, swap your clips. This is a helpful shortcut that you can use to speed up your edits. Let's say you need to change the order of your clips. One way, of course, is to just select a clip you want to move, lift it, move it to the left, then move the clip under to the right and place the other clip in its spot. A much easier way to get this done is with the shortcut shift Control comma or shift Control period. Now the comma moves it to the left and period moves it to the right. Let's try it. I'm going to move this clip to the left and now to the right. You can also move multiple clips with this shortcut. So let's select these three and use the shortcut. How simple is that? Number four, live save. Computer crashes happen, especially when you're in the middle of editing your video and you haven't saved for a long time. To avoid this, turn on live save. It's going to automatically save the project for you so you don't have to think about saving anymore. To turn on Live Save, 
Go to the DaVinci Resolve tab up here and select Preferences. You can find the Auto Save settings under User, Project Save and Load. Click Live Save to turn it on. Any change you're going to make to this project is going to be saved in real time. Down here, I also recommend to turn on Project Backups. This is going to automatically save a backup of your project in the Specify folder, which you can easily change here. This way, you can go back and restore your project at any point in time. You can adjust the settings of the project backups right here. When you're done, hit Save. To work on a project from the backup folder, go to File, Project Manager. Once you find the right project, right mouse click on it and select Project Backups. Here you can select the version that you want to work on. Number five, Dynamic Zoom. Now, sometimes a still image or video without any movement might be too boring for your audience to look at. If you want to make the footage more alive and bring more attention to the frame, you can use dynamic zoom. Here's my static time-lapse footage. It looks okay, but we want to make this a bit more interesting. Select a clip, go up to the inspector tab, and then video. Toggle on dynamic zoom. With this dropdown, we get some options. We could go with linear, which looks like this. I'll go with ease out. With swap, we can change the order of the action. So when I click it, it goes from a wide angle to a zoomed in frame. You can get more dynamic zoom options by clicking on this arrow here and selecting dynamic zoom. The red rectangle is the end point and the green one is the start point. I can adjust them by holding and dragging these dots. So if you want it to be more zoomed in at the end, you can set it like this. Deactivate the options by clicking here and hit play to see the results. Number six, use scroll on timeline. This quick tip is gonna make your editing workflow much faster especially if your previous editing software was Premiere Pro. In Premiere, you're able to use mouse scroll on your timeline to navigate faster. Here in DaVinci, this feature is turned off by default. To turn it on, go to the View tab and uncheck Enable 2D Timeline Scroll. Now you can use your mouse scroll to navigate faster. Tip number seven, adjust your audio level. When you add some music to your voiceover, it's important to adjust the volume so it's not too loud. There are two ways that you can get this done. One way is to use keyframes. Down here below the voiceover, I have some music. Right now it's too loud and you can't hear what I'm saying. Today's video is about an awesome video editing program called When I hover over this thin line right here, you can see that my cursor changes to the small double arrow. When I click and drag it up or down, it lets me change the volume. When I hold Alt and click somewhere on the line, it's gonna make a keyframe. Let's make another one. Drag down the second one to put down the volume of the music. Now it goes down smoothly. You can play around with this and adjust it as you see fit. So in the end, it may sound like this. Today's video is about an awesome video editing program called DaVinci Resolve. There's another way to start or end your music with a fade effect. On the selected audio track right here, drag this little arrow to the right and on the left side to the left. This will make the audio start smoothly. You can do the same thing with video as well. Just drag it to add the fade effect. Today's video is about an awesome video editing program called DaVinci Resolve. Number eight, activate multiple timelines. Let's say that here on this timeline, you're working on a specific piece of your footage and you wanna keep it separate from the final cut. This is how you can manage your workflow easier. First, click on this button right here. These are timeline view options. Then click this button. It will create a separate timeline. Now you can add timelines for different purposes. Hit plus to add a timeline. You can now drag files to that new timeline and have them separate to the other one. If you close your timeline, you can find it in the media bin right here. 
Okay, so these were our tips. I hope you found these helpful in improving your edited skills with DaVinci Resolve. Please let me know in the comments if you find such videos helpful or if you're looking for other specific editing tips. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider joining our community by subscribing if you haven't already done so. Many thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.